Here is a quick video on how to flash uh, your ESCs or program your ESCs using uh, BL Heli Suite and CleanFlight with the built in uh, interface. In other words, you don't have to disconnect your ESCs from your uh, flight controller. You don't have to take your copter apart to get at the signal wires and so forth and so forth. <clears throat> the first thing I need to tell you is this will only work if you have ESCs with the BL Heli bootloader installed. Now some ESCs don't have a bootloader installed at all. That's increasingly uncommon these days. Many ESCs have the Simon K bootloader and some ESCs have the BL Heli bootloader. It's important that you know that just because your ESCs are running BL Heli does not mean that they're running the BL Heli bootloader. There are many ESCs out there that for whatever reason ship with the Simon K bootloader but BL Heli installed on them. I'm not going to go into a big discussion of, of what a bootloader is and why that all is, but suffice it to say that the bootloader is separate from the firmware that you're using, and you can have BL Heli ESCs with the Simon K bootloader. Uh, I got some, they were specifically advertised as, oh, BL Heli race ready, fancy schmancy, and surely I thought they would come with the BL Heli bootloader, but they didn't. They had the Simon K bootloader. It's probably done because the manufacturer, whoever it is who is flashing them, finds it convenient to just have one type of bootloader and just bam smack the firmware on all these ESCs uh, in MOS you know using a consistent approach so, and they don't think about the fact that uh, on the other end the user is going to have a hard time. If you have the Simon K bootloader you're in a bit of a pickle you have to be able to program the chip directly which means with many ESCs you're going to need to solder wire directly to the board or well, if, if indeed they've broken out the programming pads if they haven't broken out the programming pads, then you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to get a, a chip flashing adapter or something like that. So suffice it to say that if you don't already have the BL Heli bootloader, you got a little bit of work ahead of you. Um, I make it a point to always try to buy ESCs with a BL Heli bootloader pre-installed. Keeps life simple, and then you never have to. You can do everything you need to do over the signal wire. Keeps life keeps life really simple and easy. Okay, so the other thing you need to know is you need to be using uh, Betaflight. This feature did not make it into CleanFlight 1.10. It is such a great feature that I, I fully expect that it will be in CleanFlight before too long, maybe 1.10.1 or whatever the next sort of dot rev is. It's such a good feature that I just don't see why Hydra wouldn't uh, be motivated to put it in. So, um, but you know, for now, if you're not running Betaflight, you just don't have this feature available to you. Okay, so I've got my copter hooked up to COM3. Configurator is running. Disconnect. Because you don't want the configurator connected because BL Heli Suite is gonna to need to talk to the board. Now there used to be a thing where you would go into the command line and type one wire. That's not here anymore. Oh, I guess it is here. You don't need it though. Don't use that. Okay? You don't want that. I'm going to show you why. Disconnect. I thought that was gone. Here we are in BL Heli. Uh, BL Heli Suite. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to select the interface. The interface you're going to pick is Scilabs BL Heli Bootloader Clean Flight. Okay? You could also pick Atmel BL Heli Bootloader Clean Flight. I'm not actually sure that it matters, but pick the one that is whatever ES, ESC uh, microcontroller you've got, whether it's Atmel or Scilabs, minus Scilabs. I'm going to click Connect. I'm on COM3, and I'm going to Connect. And at this point, when you see the Connect turn into a Disconnect, and you see the multiple ESC show up with the, with the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, boxes, that means you are now talking to the programmer interface in CleanFlight. Okay? The next thing to do then, this is where I like to uh, plug in the battery. And the reason I do that now is you, you can actually have the ESCs already powered up, but I like to wait until I'm talking to the programmer because once the once CleanFlight is in sort of programmer mode, it doesn't send any throttle signal to the ESCs anymore. So it really just makes it most likely that they won't accidentally like throttle up accidentally. I don't know. If you have the ESCs powered up and then you connect, they will, it'll still work. But I like to wait until I'm connected uh, via BL Heli Suite, and I'm going to plug the battery in now. Okay, 
And then I'm going to hit Read Setup. And you can see it read 1234 ESC, ESC 1234. And there you go. You have now, that's it. You may now flash the ESCs. You can change the configuration settings, etc., exactly as if you were plugged in via an Arduino Nano or whatever. If you want to learn more about the multiple ESC programming, watch my other video about using an Arduino Uno to flash them. I discussed that a little bit in there, and it's exactly the same, except you're, you're using the Clean Flight instead of the, uh, instead of the Arduino. When you're done here, I do recommend that you disconnect. And I'm going to unplug my battery here because that's all pretty loud and annoying. I do recommend that you disconnect manually. If you just unplug the battery uh, or just sort of uh, unplug the USB port, sometimes I've found that VL Heli Suite gets into a little bit of a strange mode where it won't release the COM port and you have to shut everything down and unplug everything and start from scratch again. So, but if you disconnect gracefully and then you should be able to just reconnect, no problem, you're back in here. You can go back and forth as needs be. Um, one other thing, I'm using a, uh, a modified version of BL Heli Suite um, that was put out to fix a bug. There is a bug in BL Heli Suite 14103 where, let's see what's going on here. Why can't I connect? Hang on. Disconnected. Hmm. I got to pick the, oh, I got to pick the interface. Yeah. Com3 bug. Connect. Where... And I apologize for the beeping. It's going to happen again. When you go to read the setup, it doesn't read all the ESCs. So here it read ESC number 1, but not 2, 3, and 4. Usually what it'll do is it'll read ESC 1 and 4, but not 2 and 3. If you get that bug, what you can do is you can go to Options and Enable Logging. And the log window just popped up over here. I can't, I can't drag it on the screen, but... Uh, there's a it's a timeout issue with the com ports, and if you enable logging, it slows down the com com writes enough that you usually ha don't have that issue. If if you have a more recent version of BL Heli Suite, this bug is I believe it's fixed. Uh, but if you happen to run into that bug, where you, where you, when you read the ESCs, you just get ESCs one and four, and it skips some of them. Enable logging, and that that seems to fix it because it slows down the com port writes. Okay, hope that's helpful.